Hello, in this tutorial we're going to cover scenes in Cocos Studio. A brief overview of what a scene in Cocos is. It's basically a way of grouping and displaying items, aka these objects in Cocos or in your project, in your game. And in Cocos 2DX and Cocos 2DJS, all of these objects are called nodes, so you might hear the word node being thrown around a lot, whether it's from us or somebody else or an article that you read online. So when we say item, object, node, we're essentially talking about the same thing. Some example scenes that you would have in your game are main menu scene. On there you could have a play button, and that would be most likely something like this. This sort of node is called a widget, but these are all nodes. You could have a another button which mutes the audio and the button which takes you to settings and a button for high scores that sort of stuff a background as well so you could actually use an image for that like that right there but again it's a node you could have a game scene a level select scene pause scene setting scene and all of these scenes allow you to group the content so that's basically what a scene is and we're going to show you how to create a scene in Cocoa Studio to actually use this scene in your project in, we're not going to show you the code we're going to have a link in the description which covers all that because it, it's different for Cocoa Studio DX, C++ or Lua Cocoa Studio JS so we've just created an API guide which covers the coding. So let's just show you how to create a scene. By default you get one created but it's uh, most it's more than likely that you're going to want to create multiple so you can either right click go to new file click the plus button down here and go to new file or go to file and go new file select scene name your scene so I'm going to call this awesome scene 2 I'm just putting the number two at the end and the size you can't set because it will just be set to whatever your design resolution is right here. If you want to know more about design resolution there will be a link in the description to that as well and the 1136 by 640 actually you know what I'm not going to put a link in the description to the design resolution because it's literally just the video before. The design resolution you can change so this is unfixed so let's click new that's created it if it doesn't open it by default then it's all good you can just double click on it right here and double click on this one as well i don't know why when that sort of grayish color yeah, these sort of lines around here because this is how it's meant to look so what we get is this little scene the black area is the design resolution the canvas that you'll be dealing with and you can drag objects onto it accordingly like so it's really really simple so i'm just adding some objects if i were to just play it that's basically my scene and to rename a scene it's really simple as well you just right click rename you just rename it like that you can right click and delete duplicate the scene as well because maybe you have a particular let's say game scene and you're just modifying a few different things or maybe a level select scene you can open contain the folder but that's as generic for a lot of the other methods so that is it for scenes in coca studio it's very simple like i said there will be a description i mean a link in the description to the code for using scenes from coca studio in your project if you have any questions feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php don't worry you don't need to remember that link there will be a link in the description and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a wonderful day